Hey y'all, so today's video is a little bit different. I want to try some new stuff here on my channel. Um, and I was sitting here getting ready to like kind of clean and reorganize my makeup collection. So I wanted to show you guys how I do that and use this as an opportunity to show what my collection looks like as a small YouTuber, small I don't even know. I'm not an influencer. As a small YouTuber, um, just give you guys like an insight into my collection and what I have um, as I clean up. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. Okay, I just finished filming this look not too long ago. This is what my desk looks like right now. I'm just going to clear it off real quick um, so that I can walk you guys through the stuff that I really use up here. Like you see, I have a little bit of makeup and stuff up here, but it's not too much clutter because I try to clean as I go because I don't do well with clutter. So I'm gonna clean this off real quick and then I'll walk you through what I keep on my desk. Okay, so this is typically what my desk looks like when I'm filming. Of course, I will have all of like my products and a towel laid out in front of me. And the towel is just so I can like wipe my brushes off if I need to or if I spill something that's not like on the table. Speaking of this tabletop, the plastic is still on it because for a long time I was debating on whether or not I wanted to return it and get a longer one or a wider one but i just never did that especially because of this space is so tight um in this room so i never returned it but i don't want to take the plastic off just because i don't want the tabletop to get messed up is that weird <laughs> anyway so um, i have three lights um, all of these are from Amazon and I have one in the middle, two on the side, just so that I have light coming from all angles. Um, I keep my iPad on my desk because I film from my phone and being able to like look at my iPad for the time so I can see what time it is. Um, cause I don't have a clock or anything in here. So yeah, I keep that. And then like, if I'm filming something where I'm not talking, I'll watch like YouTube videos or something on the iPad. Um, of course, I have all of my makeup brushes here. Um, I have a lot. This container, I think I got this from TJ Maxx. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure this container was from TJ Maxx. And then I have um, two mirrors. So I have my impressions vanity mirror. This one is huge and it usually blocks like my phone when I'm recording. So I use this when I'm not recording. Like I'll do my makeup in this one when I'm not filming or anything like that. But when I am filming, I use this smaller mirror um, in combination with my monitor. Um, this monitor is from Amazon. And like I said, I film from my phone and I use the back camera um, so that it's better quality. So um, I like having this monitor just so I can see what's happening. Like I can make sure I'm in the frame, that the camera's not crooked or lopsided or anything like that. So yeah, this monitor has been a lifesaver. Before I got this, I was using an old TV. <laughs> but when I changed my setup, that didn't really work for me anymore because it's on the other side of the room. So yeah, this is the top of my desk. Um, now let's start looking into the drawers. I hope that this angle is not weird, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the drawers. So um, these are the Alex drawers from Ikea. Um, I do have two of them. I have one on this side, one on the other side. Then I have this um, tabletop piece kind of making a desk out of the two. So yeah, let's just get right into the drawers. So this first drawer is um, a lot of my eye products. So I do have um, some dividers in here. All of my dividers are from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're kind of hard to find. So like when I go get them, 
I buy like everything that they have because <laughs> I feel like you can never have too many drawer dividers. But yeah, um, all of the drawer dividers that you're going to see in all of my drawers, they're all from Dollar Tree. Okay, so this first section, it started out as eye primers and eyeliners, um, but it's kind of morphed into like a catch-all. <laughs> move that over there it's kind of morphed into like a catch-all so i do have um, primers eyeliners and some liquid eyeshadows in here this one is a little like a nail polish <laughs> i've received this through um boxy charm but it legit looks like a nail polish to me anyway so yeah i have um so yeah i have a couple of liquid eyeshadows in here some liners all of these are like my black liners well this one is navy blue and then this one's another liquid shadow liner these are That's a liquid shadow as well, but now with all of these removed, you can see my eye primers too. So that's what's in this first tray. The liquid eyeshadows just kind of ended up here because I really didn't have anywhere else for them to go. So in this next one, I have um, like my mascaras and lash glues and like a random lash curler. This is like a random eyeshadow pigment that I've had probably 10 plus years. <laughs> probably should get rid of it, but I just really don't want to get rid of this. I believe this is from Coastal Scents. Like, do y'all remember when Coastal Scents was popular? That shows you how long I've been into makeup. <laughs> but yeah, so these are um, different, mas different mascaras and lash glues, of course. This one has been my newest go-to. I'm still kind of learning how to use it though. This is the Eyelore um, Liner Lash Glue. So it's like a black eyeliner, but it has lash glue in it. So it makes your eyelashes super easy to put on. This has definitely been my favorite mascara. This one is from Lily Lashes. I love it. And this is a holder for a lash applicator. This is from Maverick and Minx, which is my favorite. And yeah, this came in here. I love this applicator because it's like super heavy duty. It's not a real cheap feeling. But yep, that goes in there. And then this last section, um, I have just some random hand sanitizer. I keep hand sanitizer everywhere. Um, and then these are like my brow products. So I have like my brow pencils here's a few more brow pen a couple brow gels my pomade um, this one is another if i can open it i have the hardest time with this packaging and i think it's because of my nails there we go this is just a, a brow gel from patrick ta i wasn't super super impressed by it but i really like his packaging so all back here, um, this is the majority of my eyeshadow palettes, but I do have some more that you'll see in another drawer. Um, got some Juvia's Place, some Violet Voss. This is a Spanglish palette from Alamar. More Violet Voss, ColourPop. I actually used this one on my look today. Um, as you saw in my intro, this was what I used. So Huda, this one is from Artist Couture. I got this in a BoxyCharm box and I have never used it. Like these colors aren't really like my style. So you can see I haven't even touched it. There's a couple of palettes in here that I haven't touched. Um, that's Makeup Revolution that one was given to me. This is another palette I've never touched it's from Chiate. Um, it's pretty, but I just don't find myself drawn to it. Is it blurry? Oh, my monitor looks blurry. 
So yeah, it's like a super pretty palette. I love how huge this mirror is. Like, I have a big hand. It's literally almost the size of my hand. So I do love that. I just haven't been drawn to use the palette. Old Faithful Naked 2. I got some crayon case. Um, Natasha Denona. I find myself reaching for this one a lot because it's so neutral. But you still get a little bit of color with like these orange shades and then the shimmer. I do really like this one. And then this one is just a pressed glitter palette from Profusion. I got it from Walmart. I thought it was cute. And then I have two Morphe palettes that were also gifted to me. Put these back. So yeah, that's it for this drawer, um, all of my eye products. And so this next drawer is like all of my face products. Let me fix the camera. And what I'll do is I'll start in the back and then work my way forward. The stuff in the back is stuff that I don't typically reach for as much or I just didn't have enough space up front for it to fit. So this tray is all of my like cream bronzer highlight type stuff so i have like my matchsticks from fenty my oma beauty contour and highlight stick this is another cream contour cream bronzer from milk and then i have a couple of highlighters here this one is like a press cream or like a cream to powder i don't know but i'll leave it here so yeah these are just like all of my creamy bronzers and highlights so these are foundations um so this as you can see i have two huda shades so this one the gingerbread is what i was using before but i was using it like in the house to film and stuff i had never wore it out yet and this past weekend i wore it out and i realized like it looked really really orange like in natural lighting so i went to sephora last weekend and i got another shade and this is also the newer formulation that doesn't have um, any fragrance or anything like that this is the improved formulation so this one i got churro and i think i do like it um i have it on today um, I was surprised that like the neutral shade worked for me because usually I go for stuff that's more golden, but this one was neutral too. I don't know, but this one I do really like. Um, I got my Maybelline Fit Me Pouch, the Born This Way, the matte one. You know, I still don't know if I've worn this one yet, <laughs> or at least I have. I know I haven't worn it out, but I can't remember if I've used it or not. I don't know. And then this one is the original Born This Way. I do not like this one. This one is not for oily skin. And neither is this Pretty Fresh foundation. Actually, let me switch these. Uh, this one's the old color. And then so these are the rest of my foundations. Um, I have two Fenty. Same thing um, happened to me with Fenty with Huda. So the original shade that I got at first uh, was too orange so I ended up getting another shade so originally I was wearing the 370 but I switched to the 345 and I like the 345 much better I don't find myself reaching for the Fenty foundation as much though because I really fell in love with Huda um, then I have the Oma Beauty foundation I haven't used this one in a long time so I don't really remember my thoughts on that one and then i have the huda stick foundation and i tried it once and i don't remember my thoughts on this one either so clearly these two didn't blow me away if i don't really remember my thoughts on them maybe i'll try them again soon but yeah those are all of my foundations so back here that's a lid to my primer water um, from Makeup Revolution. That's in my bathroom now, though. Um, these are like some setting sprays. 
And then a couple of primers that I'm not too huge fans of. This one is from Milani. This one is from Maybelline. Not my favorite. Super silicone-y. Then I have two setting sprays from Urban Decay. I have the D Slick, which is like the oil control, and then the All Nighter. And so this one has been my new favorite lately. Um, you saw me talk about it in my uh, full face of drugstore makeup. I really like this one. Oh, I gotta sit down, my knees hurt. <laughs> this tray is uh, more primers. So I have um, both of the Fenty primers. This one's the original, this one's the matte. Then I have the Milk Hydro Grip. And I've said this before, like y'all know I like minis cause I don't wanna feel like I'm wasting my money. So I'll get the mini and figure out if I like it or not. And if I do, then I'll repurchase the full size. And this is actually in the wrong spot, but this is just the Lip and Cheek Mini from Milk. I'm gonna put that aside so I can put it back where it goes. Got the Blur Stick. This little Marc Jacobs primer. This one I feel like I'm allergic to, so I'll probably be giving it to somebody. Um, the NYX Bear With Me. This one is cool, I like it. Um, but it's a radiant primer, so it does have shimmer in it, which I don't really care for too much, just cause I like a matte look cause of my skin type. Um, the Farsali Liquid Powder, I love this. Really reminds me of Milk and Magnesia though. Uh, but this is kind of expensive, so I don't use a whole lot of it. And then um, I have the mini Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is kind of like those two foundations. Like, I don't really remember my thoughts on it, so clearly it didn't blow me away. So this tray right here is my concealers. Um, I have, you know, you know everybody knows LA Girl. I got my milk, some Maybelline, matte. This one um, is way too dark for me. It was sent to me through Boxy Charm, so I use this one as a contour sometimes. What else is here? Um, this one's from Maybelline. This one is really good if you have like lines and wrinkles underneath your eyes. The only thing though is it makes me itch, so I don't use it. And then I have my Fenty and my Oma. I stopped using the Fenty one because I realized that it really like cakes up under my eyes and makes my wrinkles very exaggerated. So I don't really use this one as much. I more so reach for these two. All right, so moving on down to the next drawer. So way back here, I have like a couple of body highlighters that I've gotten. I haven't really got a chance to try these yet because I ain't been nowhere <laughs> and it hasn't been hot enough to have like skin out or anything like that. So I'm really excited to try this one from Natasha Denona just because the color, like the dark looks really good. And um, this one, I like, this one I like the color, but I'm not a huge fan of the smell. Like I've heard a lot of people talk really good about this brand. It's the Sol Gennaro, um, but I'm just not a huge fan of the way that their products smell. I don't really like a whole lot of vanilla. So yeah, I'm more so excited to try this one from Natasha. All right, so this tray here is all of my setting powders. So I have like my Fenty, which are my go-tos. Well, at least the Honey is my go-to for all over setting powder. Um, the banana, I don't really use this one underneath my eyes because I noticed it was also exaggerating my fine lines. Um, but I do like it for like the centers of my face. This one is from Maybelline, which is cool. I have this one from Milk, which is too dark for me. I might give it to my mom or something. I'm not sure yet. Or maybe it'll look better like when I have a tan. I don't know. Um, I have two minis from Laura Mercier. So this one is the translucent honey. I use this one underneath my eyes. And then of course the regular translucent, which I like all over. I have the mini Marc Jacobs. And then I have this pressed one from Ofra. I need to try this one again and figure out if I like it or not. And then 
And then this one doesn't really belong here, but this is the Jelly Beam from Farsali. It's just like a gel highlighter, but it didn't fit in that tray with my other light cream highlighters. All right, so next up this tray, these are my like bronzers and blushes and like other like powder highlighters. So I have um, two bronzers from Fenty. I have the powder and the cream. I prefer the powder, but now that I've gotten into underpainting, um, I do find myself reaching for the cream more. This is one of the kilowatts. This was gifted to me. Um, so I haven't even used this. The colors aren't really colors that I would reach for a lot. Um, highlighter from Maybelline, cream blush from Milani. This is a blush from Bare Minerals. Okay, this is so old. Like I got this when I worked there, which was like nine years ago. Dang, I can't believe it's been that long. But um, this was my favorite blush ever while I worked there. It's called the Aphrodisiac. And I found myself reaching for it again because I like the pink, but then it has like gold shimmers in it too. And I really love that. And some MAC blushes and contour. Got some Milani. I got some highlighters from the crayon case. Um, I love this pink one. When you put it on, it definitely does not show up this pink. So don't let it scare you in the packaging. But look how huge this is. You get so much product. And then this one is from Artist Couture and Illuminati. I really like this one too. But this one, um, it looks so much better after you spray your setting spray. And I got the cream blush from Fenty and then a highlighter from ColourPop. And then this little lip and cheek palette from Laura Geller. I really like that color, which this is basically the cream version of this. And then here I have all of my sponges, which I do need to clean, as well as like a little like spot brush cleaner from the crayon case. And then um, this palette from, what's the name of this brand? This is, I know it needs to be clean, I know y'all. Oh, uh, what's the name of the brand? Paw Palette, Paw Palette, that's what it was. But I used this when I was like freelancing and doing makeup and you put it on the back of your hand. Um, and use that as a palette so that you're not putting, you know, just so it's more sanitary and you're not putting product like on you to put it on a client or anything like that. So yes, that's from Paw Palette. All right, so this drawer is just more like random eye stuff. So I have like my eyelashes here, um, a few more random eyeshadow palettes that didn't necessarily fit get this open there's more some magnetic eyelashes i already forgot that i had those i need to try these um but yeah these are just a few more eyeshadow palettes that wouldn't fit up top so i have like my what's the name is the chill so this is the chill palette i bought this kit from ulta and it was the wrong color and i just forgot to send it back so this was like last year though so i just been stuck with it um, this is, what is this? A uh, bronzer palette there. Profusion from Walmart. And then um, just some more eyeshadow palettes there. Um, this I got from Amazon. It's like an eyelash case. Um, it needs to be cleaned out. It's dirty, I know, but you can fit up to like three pairs of lashes in there. Put this back there. And then I got um, like my mini Juvia's Place palettes, um, a couple of mini MAC palettes. What's this? Uh, Maybelline City Mini. And then, and then a L'Oreal palette. But yeah, this is just like my overflow of my eyeshadow palettes. And these are ones that I don't typically reach for a lot either. And then of course, all of my lashes, which I still feel like I need more. <laughs> 
And then this bottom drawer is just like a junk drawer, like literally, like I have some Q-tips, some pores, a makeup bag, some samples from ordering online. This is pretty cool for like when I travel. Um, it's just a makeup brush holder. Um, so when you travel and then you can just leave your brushes in here too. So I thought that was cool. But yeah, that's all junk. Okay, so now we've shifted to the drawers on the other side. And this drawer is all of my lip products. So this tray here is like all of my lip glosses. So um, I do have a lot. Um, I have like some, these are from Declart Cosmetics. So these are like more opaque. And then of course I have like my sheer. Uh, this is more on the opaque side too. This one's from Cab. Lip balm from Milk. Um, I have a lot of gloss bombs from Fenty, but I think they're like all dispersed throughout all of my purses because all of a sudden I can't find none of them. And then I have a few glosses from Victoria's Secret as well. Some crayon case, um, Bare Minerals. This one is Trust Fund Beauty. I've never, I haven't even used this one. It's not really like my type of, I haven't even used this one. It's not even really like my type of color. This was another boxy charm thing. But yeah, these are all of my lip glosses. And then here are like my lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. Um, I used to have way more than this. I really have no idea what happened. I don't remember if I like threw them away or if I gave them away or what, but um, I have more Declart Cosmetics. I have a few from Crayon Case some Kat Von D or K KVD, whatever they're going by now. I have a couple from Fenty, which looks like they need to be shaken up. Some Maybelline, and then a few from MAC back here as well. And then these are lip liners, some chapstick, and a couple of sharpeners. Okay, so the next few drawers are like hair products. So I have like combs and brushes, clips, wig caps, some got to be sprayed. Um, this is just moisturizer from Main Choice, some hair paint wax. It's some of everything in these drawers. Edge control, heat protectant. Like it's, yeah, that's not even important. <laughs> um, this is more like random hair stuff more like hair accessories though so i have like some beads and some wires some wig clips I have a head wrap a edge scarf i was giving this mask at the beauty supply store but it got like rhinestones and it say sexy and that's not really my style so as y'all can see it's still sitting in paper What else is down here? I bought these butterflies because I was gonna do like a a look with it for like my hair and makeup, uh, but I never did. But it's about to be spring again, so maybe I can do it this year. Um, just like random hair accessories, bows, clips. This was another thing I was gonna do. Maybe I need to get back in my like creative bag and use this stuff what's this more clips butterflies all of this was like stuff that i was gonna do looks with but never do it but still got time um this is just more random hair stuff this is a nappy <laughs> headband wig which i could bring this back to life just need to wash it and add some um product to it but yeah this got me through like too much straight y'all <laughs> And nobody even knew. Um, then I have just like a flat iron blow dryer. Let me not throw this over there. <laughs> um, flat iron. This blow dryer is a game changer, y'all. Game changer, especially for natural hair. Love this. I got it off of Amazon. Then I just have like 
hair developer and hair dye, more wig caps. This is my wig from Pretty Bougie Developer. Purple shampoo from when I bleached my knots on this wig. Um, yeah. And then this, and then this bottom drawer is my nail stuff. So during quarantine, um, of course, all the nail salons and stuff were closed, but I wanted to still be able to do my nails. So I got the, um, so I got just like some basic stuff, like a drill. And then I bought the Kiara Sky jelly tips. I tried to make a video on this like three times, but they were just all fails. But these are basically like clear tips and you just attach it to your nail with builder gel. And you can design it however you want to. Um, it'll be easier for me to just lift this tray. This is the lamp that came with the jelly tips. I do have a bigger lamp from this actually in here. So this is my bigger gel lamp. And I'll just keep it in this bag. Like I was really trying to get into nails, y'all. Like I brought all this stuff to like decorate it. Like I got like this really pretty rose gold glitter from Kiara Sky. These are all like different size and shape rhinestones. More glitter. I have, like the little flowers and stuff. I have, like the dried flowers and stuff like i realized that i just didn't have the patience for it and honestly i'd rather just pay somebody to do my nails because it wasn't for me <laughs> and then these are my gel polishes um a lot of these are the like prep stuff for the jelly tips but then i do have like some other colors and then i received some stuff for free for them because it was just a lot when they launched the jelly tips and people's orders was canceled. I was one of the people whose orders was canceled. So I got to pick out like free stuff from when I was able to order again. But yeah, those are my drawers. I know I'm mad close, but whatever. I'm gonna um, touch up my face as I'm closing this video out. Video out. So yeah, that is my collection, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoy like this real like chill, almost like vlog style. Is this like a vlog style type video? I don't know. But I just know it was super chill, not as formal as like a tutorial or anything like that but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed it i enjoyed it and i'm trying to like get some different kind of content on my page too not just all like tutorials and stuff and i'm sorry if y'all hear a lot of noise in the background it's my mama hope you guys enjoy getting like a little bit of insight into my collection as like a small youtuber and someone who is like rebuilding their collection um yeah let me know if y'all enjoy these types of videos um if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe what you waiting for <laughs> and i hope that y'all are continuing to be safe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye